Hello guys, Dusty here, and today we are playing Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Yes, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Now, this is not necessarily my favorite Sonic game, aka it's my worst Sonic game. Uh, my worst Sonic game. My worst. Uh, out of all of them that I have, it's probably the worst. Now, uh, anyway, where, where was I? Oh yeah, I, I just don't like it. And now, this is just a quick disclaimer before this video, I don't like this game. Um, I have no problem with you guys liking it, obviously. Uh, you guys can like whatever games you want to like, but I dislike this game and I dislike it for numerous reasons. So, we'll, uh, kind of explain those as we go, however. We're just gonna go around and we are gonna collect rings for now. And by the way, the first two levels, pretty alright. I mean, standardized stuff. And then you've of course got, uh, these, which... I do apologize um, to the viewers who wanted me to do these special stages and, you know, get the good endings. I just can't. I cannot do it. Like, I actually, like, physically cannot beat these levels. So, I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I really, I, I should... I mean, I may do it eventually. I may do it in a live stream if enough people would watch that and just gnaw at it for hours until I could figure it out. But, yeah. Um, and the first one's really easy, then they all get extremely, really freaking difficult, so, yeah, that's the problem. Um, oh, crap. Alright. Okay, more of these rings, more of these rings. Okay, need more of these rings. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, yeah, and I do not like these special stages. I do have to admit, they are better than, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 1 special stages. However, they aren't... I don't really like them at all, uh, just because they they're so slippery and the rings don't render in quick enough. Like you you can, you, you can't see it as much in this level, but in the later ones, um, they are very difficult to see. So, see, I didn't even see those ones actually. That was just because I was looking at the capture to make sure it was still working. But yeah, um, and now we don't have to give a crap anymore. Chaos Emerald, yay. We're only going to get one of those guys because God knows we're not going to be able to beat the other levels. And I'm going to grab a drink of seven up here. By the way, this is like my third time trying to capture this. And it is on original hardware. I should mention that. It is on a Sega Genesis Model 2. Oh, yeah. Uh, and we actually have it going through my DVR, capturing 720p 60 frames per second. Can you believe that? 60 FPS, so blinky time will not be too bad and life will be okay uh so yeah with the whole 60 frame per second awesomeness on youtube so really um i'll be able to show you 30 half frames because it's interlaced if it's any if that makes any sense but i'll be able to show you all the frames so if i blink you'll actually be able to see me blinking well you know like if i get hit by something not if like in real life i blink but yeah that was act one so Act 1, not the worst act in the world. In fact, uh, Emerald Hill Zone's not too bad, but if do you notice something? Just listen very closely to something that's a little uncanny. And I should probably make sure I'm capturing sound. Just a moment. You're going to hear an echo of weirdness here. Okay, yep. I am capturing sound. This is the first level music to Sonic the Hedgehog 1. Yes, they reused it. Um... Because, you know, they can do that, apparently. But, yeah. Uh, we're going to go ahead and head right along through this level. Um, bum -ba -do -do -do. So, yeah. Uh, how's it going? This is one of the parts that I don't like about Sonic games. You know, the little bit more monotonous parts. Um, especially in a Let's Play. Those get weird. Oh, fell down there. Alright, <laughs> appeared right back up. Oh, we're going to do this one because why the heck not. I can show you how difficult these get if I do this one. So, alright. And by the way, you lose all your rings. So that's why I'm not going to try all of them. You lose all your rings if uh, you go to the special stage. So, I think it's all your rings. So, like, if you had 100 rings, you're zero at the end of this level. Um, I think it's because... Uh, they used the ring counter um, process to count the rings in this game, so they had to wipe all of your rings data in the first place. It, it's it's kind of convoluted, but basically, um, it's just programming laziness, which is there, there's a lot of that in this game, just laziness in the way it's programmed. Oh, by the way, tails is what really gets in the way uh, in these levels. 
Look at this. Oh, Tails didn't want to jump. No, sirree. You didn't want to get out of the way of that impending imminent danger, right? Oh, crap. See? This is what makes this game difficult. And no, I do not have a second controller plugged in. He's just not moving by himself. Actually, can you do this with two controllers? I think you can do uh, that part with two controllers. And by the way, I know you can basically cheat your way through the game with Tails. I'm not going to do that. I don't have a second controller plugged in. I, I mean, hopefully I won't need to do that. Now, here's another thing I dislike about this game. The most uninspired boss in the history of the world. Now, Sonic the Hedgehog bosses are usually extravagant, usually pretty darn cool. It's a car with a drill bit that you just jump on as it passes along the screen. Least inspired boss ever. Oh, and look, he shoots the little drill bit at you. Didn't see that one coming. Oh. Hit this button here. Now we gotta wait for this. Things are still capturing, so that's good. That's a worry. <laughs> I, this is my either third or fourth attempt. So, well, one of my attempts didn't last for as much as a minute <laughs> before I realized, oh, my computer crashed. And then, you know, another one. The recorder just decided to stop recording. Uh, which I suppose is life. I should probably wiggle the mouse around because it likes that. And, oh, yeah, wiggle around. Oh, now here's here's another thing I don't like about this game. Now in Sonic the Hedgehog 1, you'd have to figure out a good way of getting up there and increasing your momentum. So you could figure out, oh, hey, I can increase my momentum right there, and boom. Well, uh, on, on larger slopes, this you can just jump, but <laughs> on larger slopes, you'd have to do that. This one, didn't that take out all the fun and basically the one puzzle aspect of this game where you figure out, okay, how do I build momentum? Oh yeah, and these guys are just screwy. Those are guys who are just screwy, no matter way, what way you slice it. No matter way you slice it. That was an accent. Anyway, moving right along. Springboard. Oh yeah, and by the way, there are parts of this level that are very tedious. Well, not the first one, but the second one. The second, I would say second, um of chemical plant zone is where this game gets screwy uh one's fine i mean it's kind of cool kind of cool jam by the way this is like the only good music in this game the song they ripped from sonic the hedgehog one and chemical plant zone the rest of the songs suck they suck they are bad songs like they are just badly composed badly wrote it's no wonder they uh, used Michael Jackson for Sonic the Hedgehog 3. And I have no idea who composed Sonic the Hedgehog CD. Oh, by the way, the story of why this game is so basically just thrown together, uh, I think. This is my theory. Um, at the same time they produced this game, they were producing Sonic the Hedgehog CD. And they put a lot of their staff into Sonic the Hedgehog CD, including their music staff, because the soundtrack in that game is awesome. That game has freaking two different soundtracks, one for the US and one for Japan and Europe. And I think the US version is great, and the European and Japanese version is a masterpiece. And um, let me just say that I'm going to be playing those very soon. Um, well, playing Sonic the Hedgehog CD very soon. I think I've got a way to do it now, so. Uh, yeah, that's gonna happen. And I am stooped. I actually just beat it recently to practice it. Uh, but yeah, that is a very good game, Sonic CD. This game, not so much. Uh, because that's another point, waiting on platforms, which I didn't like from Sonic the Hedgehog 1. In fact, and I should also mention this so that I'm not like a Sonic the Hedgehog CD white knight. There are two problems with it. I do know there are two imperfections with that game. There is ring lag. Ring lag is a bad one. So bad <laughs> in Sonic the Hedgehog CD. And it is bad in Sonic the Hedgehog 2, but not nearly as bad as CD. And then we do have the mini games, which are basically unplayable. I mean, they're cool. They're really cool for the time, but they're just basically unplayable. Both Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and Sonic the Hedgehog CD's mini games, basically unplayable. Well, heck, we'll do this one again. We'll show you it. We'll we'll show you a second try, because we have the rings for it. And I want to I don't want to see if you have over uh, 50 rings. If you just take 50 rings, because I I think that's what I heard at one point. 
that they actually reset your ring counter um, to use to keep track of how many rings you've picked up on this level. So, yeah. Ugh. The render on these rings is terrible. You cannot see when they are coming at all. I have no idea how you're supposed to manage to do this properly. All right, now I think what I'm going to have to do for Tails is move out of the way. Like, anytime there's spikes even slightly approaching, I'm going to kind of have to just uh, figure it out. And, um... Nope, that doesn't work. Yeah, Sonic the... Uh, yeah, Tails is really just a lost cause. Oh, oh, oh. Dang it. Five rings left. Had to get five more rings, but yeah, we're not gonna do another special stage, guys. I'm sorry. I just can't beat them. Like, and if you are a better gamer than I, if you can beat those, let me put it that way. All right, but I can't beat them. I'm sorry. Um. Oh yeah, and by the way, the whole spin dash thing is one of the big points that I'm not really gonna be using the spin dash very much because I like to, you know, I like the aspect of the game finding the momentum. Okay, where here's where things get really boring. This is one of the biggest pitfalls of this game. Oh crap. I I fell in a pitfall. Well, first of all, the platforming isn't nearly as accurate as Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I mean, one, but that's just uh, nitpicking. It's it's very close, but it's not nearly as refined. And I think Sonic 3 and Knuckles also has that problem. Um, where, you know, the platforming isn't as accurate as Sonic the Hedgehog 1 or, or CD, but that's, that's just a minor flaw. Um... Lag, by the way. Look at this lag. Oh, man. you uh, This isn't capture lag. This is, like, actually freaking happening lag. <laughs> oh, dang it. Come on. Jumping sucks in this game, particularly with the lag. Holy mother of crap. Anyway, moving right along, we go to the platforms again. Okay, now we gotta be very careful. And by the way, an instinctual Sonic player would just run through this, so they'd fall down all these pitfalls. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, here's a fun part. Just leave things go, and usually that works, just leaving things go. But yeah, you fall into a pitfall for going fast. You know, the thing that this game is praised for and what you're supposed to do, going fast, not a thing you can do. Okay, now this is just, you've got a wreck house on this guy because you're not gonna be able to keep up with this pattern. So, okay, come on. Yeah, he doesn't really have a pattern. He That's another thing with the bosses in this game. They don't have patterns um, that are easily distinguishable. And uh, there's no good way to take them down. It's just memorization of how you can get hits off of them. And particularly in uh, one of the last bosses, you'll see that a lot if you've never beaten this game. Um, which I was thinking I had beaten this game a few times beforehand, but then, you know, I never really remembered the ending. And when, uh, I beat it, I beat it before I, uh, um, was going to do this playthrough, I realized I hadn't beaten the game before. So, yeah, I, I've now beaten it three times. Um, a lot of practice for this. Um, and trust me, I did not enjoy the practice at all. And this music just feels uninspired. Like, holy crap. Anyway, moving right along. By the way, the freaking arrows. If you don't know how to avoid them, you're screwed. You're done screwed. I'm sorry. And that guy. You're done screwed. You're just always done screwed. And instead of having to find momentum in this game, as you would in Sonic the Hedgehog 1, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, you just do that. Basically takes out all the challenge. All the fun parts of the game are just gone with the spin dash. And yes, I know Sonic the Hedgehog 2, I mean, CD uses the spin dash, but they also, but they made it a lot less, uh, a lot less powerful. And freaking arrows, see, see my point with these freaking arrows? But, um, they made Sonic, they made the spin dash a lot less powerful and instead used the, um, I can't remember what it's called, the thing where you press B and up and he runs really fast. And now that's kind of a give and take of, okay, you don't know what's ahead of you, so you may hit an enemy, and you can't jump for a while after you hit that. So that actually has a trade-off, and I like that system of doing it. I wish they didn't really include the spin dash, because to be honest, spin dash just doesn't make any logical sense either. I know I'm talking about logic in a game with you know, where you control a blue hedgehog uh, with his two-tailed fox yellow friend, 
and uh, you can't swim because you're a hedgehog, but the hedgehogs can, you know, float, whatever. Oh, yeah, and this is another w reason I hate this game. The water levels are so tedious. Um, well, mainly this water level, but there are other situations where you are in the water that are very terrible. And you have to just wait for bubbles because you're never going to get the chance again. Oh, and by the way, if you were wondering why I harped on Sonic the Hedgehog 1 so much, but I actually like Sonic the Hedgehog 1, uh, it's because, keep in mind, nothing like Sonic the Hedgehog 1 existed before Sonic the Hedgehog 1. It was a new frontier, and they did very good for a new game of its own kind. Um, like, this type of platformer didn't really exist before Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And the air time is a lot less in Sonic the Hedgehog 2, I think. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that fact, but I think you have a lot less time to breathe. Oh, yeah, and by the way, you hit, get hit under one of those, you're dead. That sucks. Oh, now this part, you have to be very careful. Instead of jumping straight up like you think you would, you have to jump back there, or else these guys will kill you. You know, good level design, right? And we're to the boss. The most monotonous freaking boss you've ever seen in your world. Ready for this? It's not let me up there. Jump, uh, just get stuck on the freaking arrow there. Just chilling, stuck on a freaking arrow. All right. They're all just boring. The boss fights are just boring. Until they get, like, cheap and impossible. Oh, crap. I think this is last hit, so, yeah. All right. Moving right along through this playthrough. Oh, and by the way, when I... Uh, continues. Continues will be, um... Used if they need to be used. Let me put it that way. Or, you know, I will use the level select cheat if I need to use the level select cheat. And I'm going to take you through the process of using it if I do have to use it. But hopefully I won't have to. I'm not going to try to have to. Because who would? But, you know. Uh, okay, now the casino level. One of the most uninspired Sonic the Hedgehog levels um, of all time. You just want to find the end. That's the goal of this Sonic the Hedgehog casino level. You just want an end to it. You want to get out of here. You don't want to play like the freaking games or anything like that. You just want to find the freaking end of the level. And I got stuck in a wall. That's the first time that ever happened before. And by the way, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is just lazily programmed. It's not glitchy. So that's, that's a plus. It's not glitchy. But that glitch did happen, so we do have to put that in the books. It is a glitchy game. It's a very glitchy game. It's broken. Hashtag something. I don't know. I'm gonna grab a drink. Uh, grab a drink. <clears throat> I got like a six pack of Seven Up in here with me because my throat gets so dry when I do these hour-long shindigs. Uh, and by the way, if you're wondering about the Sonic, the future ones, um. They will, up until probably Sonic 3 and Knuckles, they will all be one part episodes. Uh, so Sonic the Hedgehog CD will be one part, and it'll be actually a much quicker part than Sonic the Hedgehog 1 and 2. Now this is one of the very few spots where you do actually, yes, have to gain your momentum, but it's really in an uninspired way, and it's just kind of a tedious way, and you didn't make a mistake, you just got screwed over by the game. But anyway, um, <laughs> oh, you, I can get up there like that? I did not know that. Okay. No, I can't. Okay. Um, but yeah, for future Sonic games, like, I will be doing Sonic CD as a one-time deal, Sonic and, and then Sonic and, the Sonic 3 and Knuckles will be, um, well, it'll be Sonic 3 and Knuckles, so I will, it'll, the Sonic 3 and Knuckles will be two parts, but they'll just split the game up. But I will be playing the Sonic 3 and Knuckles with the cartridge connected together. So, yeah. Because I have the Genesis going. <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way, I do apologize about the rainbow banding, if you notice it, in the blurry picture. Um, that is because of probably two things. First of all, I don't have us uh, video cables for my Sega Genesis. So, 
you're getting a composite signal here. Sorry about that. Uh, you're getting a composite signal here. Um, that and the freaking rainbow banding on the Sega 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 Sega, Sega Genesis 2 is atrocious. It's just, it's so annoying. And it's not very easy to see on LCDs, but it just glares on a CRT. Oh, man. Because they're all about color, and the color just pops out of the background, and it sucks. I hate it. But yeah. Then, oh, that was close. That'll just insta-kill right there. That's an insta-kill job. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, moving straight along. We're going to be doing that. Oh, yeah. And uh, <coughs> I, I cannot find my words here. Um, the other reason may be that uh, I'm not really able to record an extremely high bit rate because uh, that would take a really freaking long time to upload. And yeah, it would take a really freaking long time to render too uh, because of the way that, my, uh, that I do things with my computer, AKA I have a computer that is not very powerful that I do all this on, uh, which I will be doing a setup video. By the way, I'm on a completely different setup right now uh, than I have been. I completely reset up in my in my bedroom um, all of my game systems so that they will capture, I can get them all capturing in probably less than a minute um, of just switching some inputs. So that is awesome. Using my uh, um, PS2, PS3, and PS1, game shelf because I got a bunch of new shelving but I'm gonna mention that and I'm gonna make a video about that there's just stuff I don't want you to see in here yet um, rooms actually not too unclean I just there's there's some loose ends I don't need to tie up with another video so you can't see um, what goes on I just did this for some reason I don't know I think it's I think it's reflex but yeah give us a chance to drink some seven up here Mm. That is good stuff. Oh, baby. All right. Okay. Sorry, these just take quite a bit of focus. Focus, focus, focus. I'm going to try something actually right here, see if it works. Oh, crap. A lot like Tempest, except bad. Whereas Tempest is freaking awesome. Yeah, like, what is up with Tails? Like seriously, just losing all my freaking mojo. Yeah, did worse than the last time, so we're not gonna try these again unless I accidentally enter one again. Wow, this has already been 25 minutes. This game's kind of long. I I forgot that though there's only two zones per uh, place, there's actually a lot of places. So yeah, and the ending of the game is really long and anticlimactic. All right, now this boss is, it's an interesting idea, it just really sucks in execution. It is annoying and I should have kept all those rings. This is difficult, okay. Dang it. Okay, we need we need our rings in this thing. So now this is an actually creative way of using the spin dash. I'm not gonna lie, those do exist. I know. It's as much as I hate the spin dash, but you know, instead of um doing this the proper way, I have to use the spin dash because the proper way isn't a very good way of doing it, which is going up on these uh things and trying to fall down on him. But you just end up back on your feet, so you just the best way of doing it is just hope to God that you can get this and then boom. Crap. Oh, come on. Really? This is... I hate this boss. I hate it so much. Oh, what the heck? Come on. No, oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die this early into the game, really. Come on! Seriously? Am I gonna need to get freaking tails? Am I gonna have to do this with tails? Like, I'm sorry, I just really, like this is where the game goes to total bull crap. <laughs> like, seriously, it, you, you've got, you've got a, 
if you've never played this level, play it just so you can understand my pain, okay? Okay, try to hit him there. Okay. Got a couple good hits on him. Okay. And this level isn't supposed to be that difficult. <gasps> you just have to keep your rhythm. Gotta let him get to us, I think. I think that's the best way to do it. Probably. This is so tedious and monotonous. Okay, finally. Yeah. Such an annoying boss. All these bosses are terrible in one way or another. And the cool thing about these bosses is are they're terrible in their own ways. It's it's really fascinating how that can be a thing. Oh, anyway. Um, Hilltop Zone. Oh, God, that jarring freaking noise. I, I, If I remember, I'm just going to edit that in in a loop for like five seconds or ten seconds or something. Just so you can see how painful that noise is. Again and again and again. But this, yeah, this, the, if you can even call it music in this game is abysmal. And Hilltop, Hilltop Zone is really abysmal as far as levels go. Hey, recycled idea from Sonic the Hedgehog 1. I'll take it. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, that was completely fair. That jarring noise again. By the way, Tails likes to ruin these, so you gotta... Instead of, you know, like, maybe taking your time and moving over there, you gotta get over pronto, or else Tails gonna offset the scale. Because Tails had to exist. Oh, yeah, and by the way, I'm playing the game that most people play. You can actually play it without Tails, but I'm just gonna show you with Tails. Because, you know, the world sucks sometimes. Oh, crap, okay. I could have just jumped there, but I didn't because I'm crazy. You gotta stay out of that guy's way. Look, it's Loch Ness Derp Monster. Look at that derpy face. How oh, derpy derp, 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 derp. Sorry. Um, okay, now just try to get through without dying. And there's no real good way to get down there. You just kind of have to take your chances. And get a, get a special happy. Okay. Now, I think it's this zone that bad things happen. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's two different kinds of bad things that really happen with this. Come on, really? Oh, I hate that part. That jarring freaking noise. No, nope, I'm not going back to get it. Nope, I'm get I'm taking my continue, thank you. Taking my continue, and I'm gonna be happy with it. Yes, I got my continue, and I got my life. So yeah, that's definitely worth it. I should have done that. All the other zones that I went through, those stupid special things. Because I may have to do the level select, and the level select is so tedious on this. On uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 1, it was easy. You could just level select. What the heck just happened? That is weird. By the way, I should probably put a sinking my audio spot in here because this is a long playthrough and it's a half hour through, so I want to make sure my audio stays synced. So jump, 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 jump. Okay. We'll do another one right here. Jump, jump, jump. By the way, that's how Let's Players sync their audio. Um, and everybody has their own little special way of doing it, but uh, that's the way I do it, and it works. I enjoy it. And since I don't capture at a variable rate, uh, my audio shouldn't go unsynced. But in the case there's like a type of um, a type of capture lag or something like that that just happens that can't be controlled. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> and I'd probably have to just make part of the video slow motion to catch the audio up. Um, or make the video go fast to slow the audio down. 
See, we're talking about video editing on the show here. Isn't that cool? Or really, when you think about it, audio editing. Isn't that fascinating? I'm sorry. I, I'll try to be less boring. <laughs> and, and I do need to... By the way, I still do need to do a video on how I uh, make my Let's Plays. But there is another thing that I'm going to be doing for um, Sonic CD. And that is... I'm probably going to be doing a face cam. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be doing a face cam. I'm going to be trying to do a face cam. And seeing what happens, to put it that way. Even though they're a little annoying at times, I'm going to try for it. We'll see what happens. Hopefully things go good. And the world goes okay. The world goes okay. I don't know how the world is supposed to go bad. Does it, like, expire or something? I don't know. I'm sorry. I suck. Don't go through there. Okay. Holy crap. Okay, now this is just kind of do or die. There we go. That's how you do it. That's how you do that boss. Because his patterns are basically impossible. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you noticed, but he should have died there. He just sinks right back into the lava with a hole in his thing. He should be dead. He should be dead. Done. Dead as a doorpost. What, however the saying goes, I don't know. Or door stamp or whatever. Oh yeah, I'm wagging my leg around. Hopefully that doesn't show up on the audio. <laughs> I'm, I'm hitting a cord, uh, waggling my leg around. Oh, by the way, you get smashed like that, <laughs> you're dead. You're done. I'm sorry, son. But yeah, this, this is like, you'd have to go back and find your momentum. Because, you know, you can't get up that like that. And you can't get up with a jump. But nope. This game, just boom. There you go. Okay. I do have to be careful on this part. Because this this level is one of the most convoluted Sonic levels in entirety. Alright. Um, and I cannot remember the order of how I'm supposed to do things. So, we're just going to kind of try to derp through it. Oh, by the way. No, don't hit that. Don't hit that. That makes a glitch happen. It was supposed to do something entirely different, but that makes a glitch happen. Maybe this game is really freaking glitchy. All right, we've got to be very careful not to hit that. Well, one of one of three things will happen. That will happen, or you'll hit that firefly, or you'll actually make it through, which hardly ever happens, so don't count that. But yeah. Wait for him. And go down. Okay. Now, instead of having to find momentum, spin dash up. Because, you know, this game could have done so much better with itself, but failed so much. And it's sad that, like, as flawed as Sonic the Hedgehog 1 was, it's a better game. Like, it's a, it's actually a better, like, put-together, tried-and-true, good, fun-to-play game. If that makes any sense. We're actually going to grab all these, so hopefully we can... Maybe snag ourselves another continue. If we can get three, that'll be ideal. Um, come on. There we go. And, uh, okay. You just have to know that's there, by the way. There's no real good way of finding it. And then you got to be very careful on that part, because once again, you get smashed, you're dead! Congratulations. Sweet. We got our continue celebratory seven up there well already 35 minutes can you believe that yeah all right let's move on oh crap oh crap oh crap oh crap now this is this is the one where you're really prone to get lost in I just want this zone to be over. I have the most practice on the last zone, so... Um, yeah. This is probably my least favorite zone, though, in entirety. Well, if you can count Sky Chase Zone, Sky Chase Zone. Well, not like the Sky Chase Zone, sorry, like the other zone. 
Sky Chase Zone actually had a creative aspect to it. <gasps> I know, in Sonic the Hedgehog 2, you wouldn't believe it. But yeah, there was actually something creative in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. In Sky Chase Zone. And you'll get to see it later. Oh yeah, by the way, didn't have if I didn't have the invulnerability, I'd be kind of screwed there. Just saying. Oh, by the way, here you are just screwed. There's no there's no exit. There's no escape. You're just dead. Sorry. Yeah, life sucks. All right. Cuz this game is just not very well put together. Couldn't tell. That was very lucky. There's there's a number of things that can happen when that thing falls on you. Uh one of them, of course, being your imminent doom. The other one being you get thrown to the other direction. And then, of course, you know, you just don't get hit. <laughs> anyway, I, I like saying three things when I only have two things in mind and then just try to figure out the last one as I go. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, okay, for the love of crap, just do this right. We're up here, and we're going to try to hit that right there. Here are, aha, crap, kapa. All right, see if we can make that. I have no words. I have no words. Never really seen this glitch before. But it exists! Yes, it does. Oh crap. Extra life, sweet. That wasn't an oh crap moment, that was a cool moment. Yeah, the extra lives, by the way, in this game are placed in places where you shouldn't go. You should never go those places. Hidden gaps where your imminent doom should lie, but it doesn't. That's this game for ya, your imminent doom. Ride my way up there. By the way, I don't think I've hit a checkpoint yet. I'm not even sure if there are checkpoints in this level until the very end. Okay, gotta be very careful on that part because I think down there is just a never-ending pit. Which is great. It's just fantastic. Just like getting, you know, your shield lost. Fantastic. Okay, all the crap now. I actually don't think I needed to use that. Okay. okay, now for the love of crap, do not lose all of my rings for this boss. I cannot remember what boss it is, but it, all I know is that... Oh, this one's not actually all that bad. I want to remember. I'm not quite sure how I'm supposed to do this. I forgot. Oh, this one's just a monotonous one. Oh. Oh, yeah. Crap. I'm gonna lose all my rings, and life's gonna suck. Oh, get that ring back. Love of crap. Yeah, this is this is the boss. This is the boss. Just try to not get hit by spikes in any way, shape, or form. Sometimes you can hit him twice, or maybe even three times. I don't know. I don't want to take the risk since I only have one freaking ring, and the spikes seem to fall more and more often and hit tails that's kind of fun that's the fun part all right he's dead he's dead he is a dead person now oh no he's live okay. crap kind of wish the game would just end there spoiler alert though it doesn't and we have to deal with the rest of it by the way i do apologize about the negative mood of this let's play it will not be here, um, oh god, this song. Sorry, it will not be here, Sonic, C Sonic CD. I love Sonic CD. Um, and of course I'm gonna have to practice Sonic 3 and Knuckles, so. I don't know if I love that, those games yet. I, I remember having fun with them when I was a kid. Sonic 2 always frustrated me, though, when I was a kid. Maybe this is a childhood thing, and the game actually doesn't suck. No, I'm pretty sure it sucks. I don't even know if I hated it as a kid. I, I think I, I always thought I did, but 
Now that I think about it, I might not have. Huh. This is a strange thing. Oh, whatever. Um, <laughs> whatever. All this gushy, mushy childhood therapy. What? I don't know. I'm sorry. Now, this level is convoluted as anything you've ever seen before in your entire life, by the way. Probably, I would have to say, the second to most convoluted zone of the game. The first one being Air Fortress Zone. Air Fortress Zone, by the way, holy mother of crap! Most confusing zone you've ever seen in your life if you don't know how to do it. Trust me. You just try playing through that zone right now. In fact, pause the video right now. Pause it. Just pause. Now, play Sky Fortress Zone. Just buy a Sega Genesis on eBay. They're only like 30 bucks. Buy Sonic the Hedgehog 2. It's only like a dollar. And put it in. Play play uh, Air Fortress Zone. Maybe even use a cheat code to get to it. Now, tell me you could possibly figure out what the hell was going on. That being said, let's continue on. Okay, uh, that's another thing I hate about this level. How could you tell me to expect that? Okay, I think I'm supposed to go up here. Alright, and... Oh. Alright, now we go through this thing, which is confusing. I think I just have to mash A. I'm not entirely sure. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Just mash A. Like you've never believed you mash A in your life. Alright, then we'd have to... And we're supposed to kind of just... Um... Yep. There we go. Crap! Really? What? Come on! No! You are dead. You are. You are just done. You're dead. You're dead. Just, you're dead. By the way, this is the best way of doing this. I think. I hope. Okay, I'm probably dead. Screw it all, man! I hate this game. I hate it so much. Words cannot describe it. I hate it. There we go. Oh my good ganja. Was that just for the one up? I'm not sure. I hate this game. Well. I think we can go down here. Nope, we can't. Alright, that's good. That's good. It's good that we can't hit the checkpoint. It's good that random things just kill me out of nowhere. It's, that's a good thing. That's good game design. Now just smash that button. I think. Nope. I haven't been here before. There's rings. Okay, now I'm supposed to go back here apparently. Nope, I'm supposed to go over here. Okay. Slide my way along there. And further. There we go. Only four minutes for the Sonic the Hedgehog level. Probably my least favorite zone in any Sonic game ever. Probably has to be, besides the last one. I don't know. I don't know which of those zones are my least favorite. This this game, I just hate it so much. But those are definitely number one and number two. Um, and then you may be saying a uh, Wing Fortress zone, but... It's not really difficult if you know how to do it. Which, nobody knows how to do it, so I suppose that's... Uh, well, nobody knows how to do it the first try, anyway. Um, first try, it's basically impossible. You are going to die because you have no idea what the heck you're doing. Oh, look, there's a mechanic that they use once in this game, then never again. Cool. 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 All right. Moving straight along. 
<laughs> By the way, I was thinking I should edit out that audio sync, but no, nah, I'm gonna leave it in so you guys know, know syncing audio, how it works. Basically, I have to put the video and the audio together. Really? I just fall on one? I just fall on it? No chance, no chance, just fall on it. Sod it all, man. Anyway, um... I hate this game. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Um, for audio syncing, you just... You basically have to move the audio to the right point in time in the video because they do not record in tandem. They uh, don't record in tandem. <laughs> they do not record in tandem. They don't record in tandem. No. Uh, they... I record the audio with Audacity, which likes to not work sometimes and likes to work sometimes. So, really, you never know what you're going to get. Oh, and I should probably wiggle my mouse again. My capture software likes that. For some, for some sick, twisted reason, my capture software is just like, oh, yeah, wiggle your mouse a little bit. That, that, that was terrible. I'm sorry. I am full-heartedly sorry. I think this is the direction I'm supposed to go. Yes, you are supposed to go up the thing that would be intuitive to go down. Now I have to go all the way back here for this to reset. I hate this game. I hate it so much. Words cannot describe how much I hate this video game. Okay, okay. I think I'm supposed to go down here, up here, and here. Yes, you are supposed to go backwards, I'm pretty sure. Um. Well, oh, that was delightful. This D I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to go out. Maybe I went backwards. I don't know. I hate this game. I hate it so much. Why do you guys make me do this? Seriously. I should be mad at you all. Yeah, maybe up wasn't the right direction. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm supposed to go down this thing. No! Didn't really bring me anywhere I wanted to go, did it? Well, yeah, I think I'm supposed to go down there still, but... And then I have to wait for this crap. <coughs> I'm sorry. The game just makes me sick. Games shouldn't do that, by the way. They're supposed to be fun. For those of you who do not know how games work and the whole entire system of doing things. I have no idea what I was supposed to do at that point. Okay, Tails. See, Tails hates it so much, he just suicides all over the place. Okay, maybe this is the right direction. Do I go through here? I hate this game so much. Am, am I am I in the same place as I was before? No, nope. I think I'm supposed to. Crap. Go. Nope. There we go. Okay. Down here. Well, at least we hit a checkpoint. That's probably some false sense of progression, right? And now, this level. Ready what you're supposed to do? Holy crap, you're just supposed to jump into him. And lose all your rings. That's a thing that you're supposed to do, too. Maybe I should play it a little bit safer here. So now you have to be careful. The input lag in this game, too. I've got to bring up the input lag. All right. I want you to listen to this. Notice that lag there. See if the remote can hear it better if I put it in front of the microphone. That and for how long it takes him to lean down. Now the running. It's abysmal. I hope it's not something that's wrong with, like, my Genesis and my controller and whatnot, but I've played this game with a, a couple different controllers, and they've all been laggy, so. It's, it's very minuscule, and it's not that terrible, um, as far as input lag goes. Like, I've seen a lot worse. 
to put it that way. But yeah, it does still suck nonetheless, just because I've seen worse doesn't excuse it. Crap, you're like, I, I just ran through that ring. I ran through the, okay, get up. Now hope, 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 by the way, the only thing that hurts you on that is the hook too. Hope I can manage this. Okay, we should be able to do it. Okay, that actually managed to work out. All right, a little bit more Dr. Dr. Pepper Seven up here. Hmm. 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 That's good stuff. Now, Metropolis Zone. This is like the last like actual formatted zone, which I'm very happy about because once again, dislike this game. So, very glad when you see the last like actual zone. You know that the end is almost like, oh, those little friggers. Oh man, you almost forget about them until you play this level again. Then you're like, I I want to be dead. I want to be dead. I just I no longer want to live life when I see things like that exist. Those are the freaking star bagglers, whatever you call them. Oh, by the way, terrible design right there. That's just insta-death right there because you're trying to go fast in a freaking Sonic game. I know it's like one of the cardinal sins of life to try to go fast in a game about going fast, but eh, whatever. Crap. That's supposed to work. Oh, and these fraggers. No way to avoid them. Just no way to avoid their bull crap. You just have to take it like a man and hope to God you have rings throughout this level and just walk through buttons. It's not how buttons are supposed to work. I don't think anyway. Oh, that those things again. You wouldn't believe how many times I died on these. Because, see, here's the thing about Sonic the 2, too. Um, y you can practice it, and no matter how much you practice it, you won't get any better at it. There Unless you're, like, a dedicated hardcore speedrunner, you're not going to get any better at this game. Me playing it right now was probably basically as good as I played it the first time. Oh, that frigger is in the most cheap spot. And, and the best game mechanic ever. Having to run on a screw. And hope to God that those things don't try to kill you. Because if they try to kill you, they will. That's how those... I just don't want to live. I hate life. I hate it. Can't wait for Sonic CD. I cannot wait for Sonic freaking CD. Cannot wait for Sonic CD. Because it's a good game. We're trying it again. We are trying it again. Now let's hope that maybe, just maybe, this game doesn't screw us. Oh, okay. there we go up here and down here. By the way, you don't, you can jump across this side, but you can't jump across that side because spikes. Yeah, they knew you'd try to go fast in a Sonic game, so they had to put a stop to that straight away. Okay. Um, sorry, I just, I really need to focus on this freaking part of this freaking game. Okay. By the way, those kind of just have an arbitrary um, pattern to them. There's, there's no good way of doing some of them, so you just kind of have to hope that things go okay. And then that guy there. 
if you even try to jump on there. Just, nope, nope, he's gonna kill you. Sorry, he's gonna kill you. Well, at least we got our one, uh, our uh, continue there. So I think we should have all the continues we can get. Mm. Hmm. Seven up, man. <sighs> cool spot's pretty cool. I should play that Super Nintendo, or is it a PlayStation game? I think there may have been both. May have. I think I mixed may and might have. Uh, but I suppose it's better than mixing buyers and owners. I have been in an experience where that happened. It wasn't to me, but that frigger is just bull crap. That frigger's bull crap too. See, see this guy. Like I, I managed to memorize a lot of the, like the monotonous, sick, twisted, devilish ways they put that enemy in this game, and I kind of got a hang of it. Like, you know, I kind of want to make it over to the pawn shop when I get the chance. Um, after this game, of course. Maybe I might have to uh, during the next zone because. This is a very, very, um, very, very stressful game. Did you see that? That's, that's why. That's, by the way, the only way to get through that. You will die trying any other way. Well, well, you can technically manage it, but you're basically going to die any other way. You just have to know to spin dash, rev all the way. Despite the fact that revving all the way didn't work too well getting up there. And, yeah. I hate this game. <laughs> Screw you. I hate this game so much, guys. I hate it so much. I hate it so much. Oh, just make it over! Come on! Okay. It's alright. We're, we're like a quarter of the way through. Well, a quarter of the way through this level. Like halfway. Not halfway. Like way over halfway through the game. But still. It's, it's terrible. It's terrible. It's just terrible, guys. There's no real good way of excri of describing it. Of describing it. To jump up very high and hope that the praying mantis man doesn't kill you. Then that one's just complete luck. Yeah. And those are complete luck too. I think there's a pattern that they go in once again, and they each have their own pattern, but still, no point in memorizing it. There's so many of them in the freaking game, you're just not going to be able to memorize them all, so you might as well die on one of them. Or die on none of them. There you go. Um, crap. Ring lag. Just saying. Goes on for like 25 minutes too. I do want an overclock Genesis at one point. I may even overclock it myself if I have to. Okay, just let all of those get their get their spike crap out. Uh, let's hope that we can maybe hit this. Okay? I'm sorry, guys. I don't mean to yell. But... <sighs> oh, my God. Oh, don't screw bag me. They're going to screw bag me. Look down here. There's going to be an enemy down here, and they're going to screw bag me. Oh, rings. Rings. Sweet rings. Oh, baby. You do not want to have to replay this level at all. You just want to be done with it. You want to be done with this entire game, for crying out loud. All right, so we made it through the second zone of this. Now, this is... It's a very bad execution of a good idea. Uh, this next level is the best way I can put things. Bad execution of a... Oh, yeah, there's a third zone. God! Yeah! Oh, I really, I really want to just go to the pawn shop right now to relieve some stress, but, and, you know, goodwill and whatnot, but honestly, I don't want to sync the audio again, so, 
and have to, you know, redo the capture and whatnot. So, we're just going to do this. Okay. And, and the rest of the Sonic games, by the way, should be a relatively good experience. But this one, just terrible. Terrible. Keep in mind, like Sonic the Hedgehog 1, love Sonic the Hedgehog CD, hate Sonic the Hedgehog 2 so much. Okay. Um, that's one of the big reasons. Right there. These freaking things. This whole zone is one of the reasons I really dislike this game. This might actually be in the running for one of my top... Uh, basically, if, if I made a top 10 worst Sonic zones, I'd probably just fill as much of the list as I can with just this entire game. There you go. This makes Sonic 06 look like a masterpiece. Like, seriously. Gameplay-wise. Okay. And level design-wise. Freaking masterpiece compared to this. Have to deal with this crap. Die. Lag. Oh, you go to hell, vermin! I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. I'm, I'm just... I'm just... Don't look at me. Don't look at me. <laughs> huh? Oh. Oh, <laughs> did you want to play in it? I should probably talk, but I just... I'm- I'm sad. Just... I'm just sad. Well, at least those things didn't knock me off the edge like they always do. Maybe there is some hope in the world after all. No, there isn't. Yep, I just have to drop down here now. Go back. And go back again. <clears throat> I wanted to believe, man. I wanted hope! I didn't get hope. I didn't get hope. Yeah, hatred! HATRED! <laughs> oh. Oh. <sighs> and they're gonna kill me when I get up there. They're gonna kill me. Kill me when I get up here. I think you just can't kill me. You didn't kill me. You didn't. You didn't. Oh crap! No! 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 This wasn't the way it was supposed to. End. I was supposed to be happy.
probably should talk. I really should. This is a let's play after all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I, I, I should be, I should be professional. I, I didn't even land on. I landed, I landed on the freaking crab monster himself. But he, he, just, he didn't go. He didn't go. He didn't go. I want to say bye. Bye. But no, no bye. No bye. No bye. No, no, no. There's no peace. No happiness in this world. <sighs> oh. They they set me up. They set me up to do that. The game. The game did it. I didn't do it. The game did. There's nothing I could do. Nothing! I want it to be over. I just want it to be done! Oh! Goodness gracious. Pop filter back on here. And... Okay. 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 Okie dokie. It'll be fine. Everything's gonna be all right. It had to be done. It had to be done. It had to be done. <sighs> okay. The worst parts are over. The worst parts are over now. When, when you know the game, we're, we're, we're at the okay parts. We're at the parts that aren't the worst parts. They're not, they're definitely horrible, but they're not as bad. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. It's perfectly acceptable for games just not to work. It's 
fine. It's absolutely, that's absolutely fine. <laughs> it's okay for our games to be broken and terrible. Oh, just let it be over. Let it be over. Please. I I'd give anything. Okay. Okay. We're, we're progressing. We're progressing, guys. We're progressing. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing the progression. We're doing it. We're doing it. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh. Oh. Okay, we got a ring. We got a ring. Okay. We got a ring. It's all fine when you have a ring. Fortress Zone. We're here. We're, we're nearing the end. Oh, by the way, another flaw. I died on this stage like four times my first time trying to figure out what the heck to do when in actuality you have to jump up here. Now, I should probably explain the convolutedness of this game. Ready? Okay, now first you're supposed to go through the shring maze here. Go over these fans and kick that jump scare chicken that would shoot you if you didn't know what was going on. Now, there's a cool little um, glitchy system in this game, in the jump system, where if you time it just right, get this just right, get up here, jump up here, and thump, you're up here now, okay? And kinda have to be pixel perfect, but go up here and you have to go over here I wasn't supposed to get that shoe yet but I can love with that I guess crap loosen that and don't let it fall on you or else it will kill you yes your one up will kill you sums up the entirety of this game you get a one up you get something good It'll kill you. It'll shoot you dead. I swear it. I swear it. And now we go down here. Lose all of our rings. And then now, if you don't know what you're supposed to do... You're supposed to go over here and mash A and go over here and then you have to figure out that these things sticking out of the ship are in fact not platforms and you have to go to the actual platforms here. Be very careful to actually hit the platforms. Alright, now these platforms are the devil themselves. So, what we do? My God. Just, 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 I, I just, just want to be happy. I want to be happy. What is happiness? I don't know anything anymore. On the wrong direction. That was completely cheap and bullcrap, but we'll be fine. Nash A. Go 
through here, hit the platforms. Alright. Alright. Okay, good. We timed it right. What? 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 Why is it doing that? Just... Okay. Okay, okay. Got it. It's fine. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, we're gonna be on a continue. If we don't beat this the first try. But hey. We'll be fine. It's alright now. In fact, it's a gas. It's alright. He's jumping put Jack Flash. It's a gas, gas, gas. I think I got it. Let me stomp on this pimple looking thing. And the laser. The laser. Oh, the laser. The laser. Oh, the laser. The laser, it's it's the death to any who oppose it. You, you want you wanna beat this game? Good luck. You have to beat the laser. The you have to beat the laser. You wanna beat the laser? Good luck! It's, it's impossible. Stupid laser. No, no. Okay. Just kind of dance with the devil. Double dancing. Just double dancing. What do we do? What do we do? Some double dancing. Okay. Okay. Doing it. Doing it. First time I've ever done that on the first try. Holy crap. Oh. Oh. One up. Down here. Cutscene. Cutscene. Oh. 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 It's, it's. It's, we're nearing the end. We're doing it. We're nearing the end. We're, we're here. It's beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. We're almost done. It's almost over. Two more bosses. That's it. That's all. That's all we have to do. Okay. Death egg zone. That's where we wanted to be. Okay, now this guy. This guy, you gotta wait for until he hits the ground or else he'll kill you instantly. Gotta hit him twice. Yeah. Bowl him. And. I just jump over him in these situations. And he'll pop up. Boom. If you can't tell, I memorized this. In fact, I think everybody just about has. Okay. You beat him. Trust me, it's much more difficult than I made it look. In fact, I really hope that I do this on my first try. Okay. Now, this is the most monotonous anticlimactic last boss you will ever see in a video game. Are you ready? You wait. You wait. You wait. You wait. Steps back. Flies forward. Go over here. 
Wait for this. Okay, it's alright. We just got one continue. Okay. Run. Yeah, run back. And then he walks this time. Okay. Okay. No, no! By the way, if you if if you um, jump on slightly to the back of him, um, it'll still hurt you. the spikes are there so you have to jump into his face it's very difficult to get a hold of but once you do it, it makes the boss not too bad now this one is just a matter of getting lucky and hitting him at the right times wait 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 i'm sorry i'm so quiet once again it's just this game is this game is a piece of crap. I hate it. I hate it so much. Guys, you would not... Couldn't even begin to understand how much I dislike this game. I'm sorry, you just can't understand it. Until you play it. Until you go through the pain. Okay. <clears throat> Wait. Step back. Go back here again. Run. Okay. No. Should be fine this time. <coughs> to do it like three, five, four or five more times. Okay. Run. Okay. 
Wait for it. Okay, then I don't think I have to run this time around. Just wait. Step back, fly up. Run. Okay. And he'll just do the steps. Okay. Shouldn't have too many more of these left. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. We did it! Stupidest outro to a game ever, but we did it! We did it! We beat Sonic 2! We beat the worst game ever created. And yes, I am saying that now. The worst game ever! Ever! There has never been a worse game. I, I can say, without a shadow of doubt, without twitching of an eye, worst game ever, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I, I wonder if these people on the internet actually play this game. Like, seriously. It is so freaking abysmal. I... I... I just, oh, I'm done. Done with this game. Done with it. Never have to play it again. Never again. Never have to play it again. Now, I would usually roll the credits, but I don't want to credit these blowholes. So, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and there may be a little snippet at the end of this video, so please stay tuned if there is. If not, I will see y'all next time. Take it easy.